So I just got done putting a motor on my bead roller here. It's a Chinese clone type bead roller and usually it's cranked. So what I did was I made this plate right here. As you can see it's got four holes in it. Two go into the bead roller and the two bottom ones go into the motor housing, uh, gearbox housing. And uh, here's some pieces of I believe it's half inch outside diameter tubing and uh, let's see I made these little standoffs and then these are uh, just 5 16 bolts and they go all the way through and it's very sturdy it's not going anywhere and let's see this type of motor is a 12 volt gearbox motor it has a 90 to 1 uh, ratio so this goes around uh, 90 times to one time on the shaft, which is a giant gear reduction to claim about a 0.9 horsepower out of 12 volts at up to 36 amps, I believe is the rated uh, amp draw. I have a Lovejoy coupling going from here to, you know, joining the two shafts together. This side is 5 eighths and this side is 3 quarters of an inch. And I had to cut that shaft down to about an inch long uh, you know that to make this short enough to where the love joy would join it together and it wouldn't stick out you know a foot from the uh, bead roller anyway uh, and I have a uh, this is off of a hoist you can buy these for about 16 bucks on Amazon it's a reversing switch for a hoist motor which are also DC 12 volts and just for temporary you know, until my power supply comes in I ordered a uh, 450 watt switch and power supply for it. This is a uh, just a little 12 volt battery I had laying around, and right now I just have it going to this this um, center off on on switch. So it changes direction when you you know move it from one side to the other. In the center, it's off, and so I'll show you it rolling when I turn the uh, switch on. Okay, so there's the, the gears, and when I turn the switch to the center, it's off. And when I turn it the other way, it turns the other way. Okay, so that's basically what the solenoid does. It reverses the polarity on the DC, and uh, it has quite a bit of amp draw, so I might just replace that with a double pole, double throw switch if I could find one with, that's rated high enough, like 50 amps or so. I haven't been able to find one yet. Anyway, uh, that's what I have so far. I have a foot switch coming, which will be wired in in uh, in between the negative lead here. Instead of instead of a battery, it'll have a power supply, and on on the negative lead, it'll have a uh, a foot switch in line with it, so that when I change directions, I can just hit the foot switch, and it will uh, you know actuate the bead roller. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for looking. Bye.